Hi guys. Now I'm going to solve a cubic polynomial here and finding the roots of that or finding the results for the x variables possible for this equation. The first thing that you have to do, remember, you have to put this in this form. That's the form that the calculator is going to ask you for the coefficients. So the only thing that we have to do is reorganize these. This is A, by the way, so 9. So x to the third, and then this is positive. I'm going to pass it negative to the other side. x squared, this is negative. I'm going to pass it positive to the other side, to x minus 5 equals 0. Now, once I have this in this order, I can use a solver for that. Polynomial solver, remember, second solver here. And then you go to the cubic equation, which is number 2. And it's asking you, if you have any number there that you don't want, you can just hit clear. 1, negative 3, 2, and negative 5. And so, and then you have the, the values for your x, 1, x2, and x3. In this case, these are the values that you can get over there. And when you reach this point, it gives you the opportunity to store the values in memory. If you want to remember, in the first video, I told you how to store the values in memory. If you don't want it, you just hit no, and that's it. If you want to review it again because you never know if you you know you did something wrong with the coefficient you just say solve again and check the coefficients that are correct one negative three two negative five solve and then you get the values that's so easy to do and there's no reason for you not to learn how to do it so see you next video guys thank you